favourite singer onto your skin. Is that right, Laura? It is, yeah. <gasps> Who is the object of your adulation? It is the one and only Joe McKelvey. Wow. What, what lyrics have you got and where are they? Um, well, it obviously started when he won X Factor um, and he released um, Cobalt the Climb as his winner single. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of, it had been out about a week and then I went to me, um, me regular tattooist and um, got them on the lower part of me back. When you say regular tattooist, I reckon there's quite a few there then. How many have you got? Uh, in total, mm. um, I've got 22 tattoos, but I've got five five relating to Joe at the moment. And there's a high risk of getting a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, a ninth, and maybe even a tenth, I would say. You have no room left. <laughs> room I know. Be a... <laughs> what is it about Joe then? Why, why is it that you just adore him so much? Do you know, and I mean, I'm speaking on behalf of like, the whole of the McKelvey matter here, basically. It's, I mean, in, initially, obviously, there's, there's, you know, you, you know that the talent there, and that, that's the initial attraction with him. And then, uh, and obviously, he's, he's talent endless as he's proven on X Factor, and then pop star up a star, and everything he's taken to, basically, mm. you know, he's, he's absolutely wiped the floor with it. Um, but then you get to know Joe as a person, and you see the inequalities that he has on top of the talent. So he, he's, I mean, he's a very, very loyal person. He's genuine, he's charismatic, he's got a heart of gold. He's got bags and bags of personality and he just never lets you down. He never lets anybody down. You know what, you're describing my dog, who's full of personality, who's there <laughs> all the time, but, but I wouldn't have a tattoo of him put on my body. What happens if, what happens if you change your mind? Do you know, like, and I, I know like that I've, I've spoken to um, Jonathan before because he kind of, he was under the same um, impression as you <laughs> when he first read about this. I think it just, it sort of, it symbolises a, a part of my life. And this has been a part of my life for four years now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, you, a tattoo can be just something that you get, or it can be a work of art, or it can be very symbolic. And the Joe ones I take is very symbolic. Um, you know, it's similar to the part of my life and I, I mean, I get, you know, I get comments like that all the time and I just think it's, it's something that's important to me and I think that, that that's the purpose of the tattoo. It, it might not look nice or it might not sort of sound like anybody else, but to you it, it means a hell of a lot. It's a really personal thing. It is a very personal thing. How much money do you reckon you spend on um, not just tattoos, but on other Joe McKeldry products? I really wouldn't like oh. have a guess on that one. I mean, I would say obviously a fortune, but however, however much it is, um, it could never come close to to his worthiness of spending spending anything on him. I mean, he's priceless. You can't put a price on a smile and on happiness, and that's definitely what he brings so many fans. Do your family, uh, you know, do they think it's it's great, or do they think you're slightly bonkers? <laughs> um, slightly bonkers. Slightly bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely mental. Is <laughs> crazy is what um I've been quoted on a few times. I mean my family are are, are ace, do you know what I mean? The the like the very understanding now of the situation and they know that I work hard and they know kind of how important he is to us and so many other people and I think he's kind of um he's a part of their life now. Basically whether or not they want him to be he actually is. Um it's always like it's the topic of conversation if somebody's if I remember, like, my sister is a taxi driver, so she's out um, and she picks somebody up in the car and, you know, when they start talking about something, she, she can start a conversation about me by talking about Joe. It's kind of what everybody thinks of now mm. with me, I think. That's what I'm associated with wow. with so many other people. You know, Laura, I had a big thing for Morton Harker from Our Heart. In <laughs> no, I am so pleased I didn't have, um, what was it, The Sun Always Shines on TV, just on me arm. <laughs> You know, or what was that? Just their lyrics everywhere. So it may change, but as you say, it's a symbol of a time in your life when you, this is what you wanted to do. This is who you, uh, you know, your adulation.